subset. A subset is actually part of a set. It is part of the universal set. Now, in the example here, if A and B are any two sets, and all the elements of A are contained in B, then we say that A is a subset of B. Look, you have all the elements in A, you have 9, you have 11, and you have 13. You have it in B, look 9, look 11, and look 13. Therefore, A is a subset or is contained in B. This is the symbol for containing. Okay? Is contained in or is a subset of. So, A is contained in B or A is a subset of B. Let us look further. C now. Do you see C? 1, 2, and 3. Can you see it in A? Can you? No. You don't have any elements of C in A. So therefore C is not contained in A. This is the symbol here. Which means not contained in A. Let's look again. C. Do you see 1, 2, and 3 in B? I guess not. No. Therefore C is not contained in B. You cannot find 1, 2, and 3 in B. You can't see it anywhere. So therefore, a subset is a set within a next set. For example, A, you can find all the elements or members of A within B. Look at it. 9, 11, 13. So therefore, A is contained in B. If you don't find all elements in one, in another, like C, you can't find any of C. In A, is not contained in. Just like C, here, you can't find it in B, is not contained in.